Okay, I'm trying out some more traveling. Uh, I don't know. You ever, you ever come up with a name for something and then you don't want it to be self-referential and all that? For me, I'm okay with typing it up as loam vision, but saying it feels a little bit conceited. I don't want to be conceited. Anyway, I thought I'd try this out anyway. You ever uh, not get enough sleep? And you realize that taking a nap or getting anything a little bit over the notch of a nap would really do you in. You start to kick into probably a quivering of REM mode and anything like that. So it's better off to have just kind of laid down for a few and not even really completely locked your eyelids in or anything like that. I don't know if that's just my sleep talk and trying to convince me about it or anything like that. Like my sleepfulness. It feels good until you have the um, fight or flight syndrome of getting into traffic and watching out for somebody doing an immediate stop ahead of you and anything like that, you know. Otherwise, most other aspects of life seem to be coasting throughout the day and everything like that. It's heated out. I have my guitar over here I have a place to put it through the day in a bit of some shade so that it can be protected and everything a camper right now I have a battery charger hooked up to it and everything it's been there since about yesterday at 6 p.m. or so it's 10 10 in the morning now this town sucks by the way the potholes are bad and I should know but <clears throat> it's still on the first notch for the recharge and I have to get a connector that gets the electric hooked up the right way so that I could use an extension cord rather than you know the basically I have a, just a strict battery charger right now it's not going right from the direct out electric of the camper so I don't stay in there completely all the time yet or anything because having the electric hooked up so I could work on things and also having um, having Wi-Fi up there somehow but I don't know it's 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 a real rustling kind of scenario thinking that I could get the, the company out and then have somebody that's in their right mind give a good answer because depending on who you're dealing with you know, some people just might be having a lazy day or don't want to actually do anything when it comes to companies and stuff anymore. It's all about emotion anymore rather than, you know, realism or anything like that. You know what's okay is uh, having the opportunity to have a red light, but you can actually turn right instead of going through those other two stoplights. And now I can kind of drive like this yeah you're so ex you, you become so exhausted that the state of enlightenment is about to kick in because your fight or flight is on in a way you could amass yourself into a quantum experience in a way some people might know that it's a excessive meditation people that want to cut corners really easy and do it by drug use Sacred continue, continuing dancing. Near-death experience. Or extreme sleep deprivation can lead to those states. Which is nifty, depending on what you're going for, you know. So, there's an empty pack of cigarettes there in the parking lot. See, in a normal, well-slept state of mind, that wouldn't seem like such a symbolic you know inventory of perception you just drive past it not think about it at all well, it's going to be a scorcher of a day it seems like and I'm looking at a robin right there but there's no way that you'd be able to like see but there it is anyway 
Look at the robin. Hi, robin. What are you doing? That's the kind of stuff I think that... I think you just go into a state of mind where you can actually appreciate the stuff that you're not, like, being punched into all the time and everything. You know, a lot of people are, like, punched into just being on the dial, focusing and filling out their objectives to the point where any actual stop and smell the roses or whatever or find a something to rhyme with you know find a rhyme throughout the day or something <clears throat> like that's how it feels being this exhausted right now but being alert due to such your alert mechanisms kick in if you're extremely exhausted so you have to experience it in order to really kind of get it i suppose so I'm beginning to be a bit more carefree, I think, thankfully. I realize that there are other states in this con in this in this country and there's other places in this world. So my judgments about how people are as people and everything are only like condensed in for, you know, whatever version of the rat race that you're contending with and everything like that. <clears throat> Thankfully, there is a situation of, of relocating with the camper that I have. I really like the place it's set up at right now, though. It's really beautiful, but just this state that I'm living in, I don't, I don't dig it. I have to say, I was born here, and to feel like a stranger and everything, I don't know. That's what I mean, though. I gotta get my whole, get a crew going or whatever, get my own community of people going and everything, get my kind of people, which are people that don't always want to be around other people all the time and everything like that, but then when the calling comes to celebrate life and everything and to have an objective and then to fulfill the objective i might seem like a lollygagger i suppose or somebody that i'm, I'm definitely not lackadaisical or else i actually get a good night's sleep and rest okay and everything like that but if there's an objective people can talk while they do things but they don't sit on their hands you know you get something fulfilled. I always was into the idea that, like, rather than people fulfilling, clocking into the hour that they need to and everything, you actually, like, have the inspiration and the invigoration to do something and then to get it done and then to be on to doing the next thing. A lot of people fill out hours and then that causes trauma and then it causes this spillover of moodiness and everything like that. And New York State has a heck of a lot of moodiness and all that kind of stuff. So... You have to survive the whiplash of basically being in a good attitude and then, you know, and, and then surviving. That, that's today's world versus of like hunters, hunter gatherers, you know, some sort of, you know, a missing of psychological deception and everything like that. And not getting caught around people that sometimes your time and your functionability relies on other people's moods for how they're going to handle the job they were hired for and everything. If that makes any sense, you know, we'll see what we're doing with those sort of ideas. It's going to be a really hot day. I'm going to try to find some shade to be in because I have to do some things where I'm outdoors anyway. So I'm going to try to find some shade, seeing if this works and all of that. There's certain apps I don't put on my phone because they take up so much space and everything. And then, you know, I don't know. I'm thinking of put some, whatever way I can put a roofing over my camper, though, and then have it be, you know, season protected and everything. Um, people think it's a little bit nuts to try to stay in like a camper during the winter time, but I'm going to do that and see how I can do it and everything. Um, really don't want to run a generator and anything like that. And these are times in my life too, man, where having my dad around would be really helpful and all that kind of thing. Um, and being up where he was last, I haven't been up there since he passed away. I had not visited up there and had been meaning to, but life has been taking its, its, uh, you know, pull towards all my objectives and everything like that. I don't know. And then there's all this stuff happens, like your AC and heater goes out in your car, and you're like, oh, like, now I need to get that fixed in order to do it. It's like, I don't know. I mean, maybe I could just put the top, you know, open for the window and drive with the windows down and everything like that, because then by the time you put the money into getting the AC and heater fixed, then something else is going to happen, and you'll be stuck and then by the time you know it, you'll be old and dead. But anyway, also I reached out to more promoters regarding shows. And these are just coffee house shows and stuff like that. But in New York and then promoters, being a creator and not being one that's in the business jargon and everything like that. And like being smoochy smoochy with people. I just am how I am. Typically, I'm kind of like kind when I reach out to like people just to say, hey, can I put my 
um, show listing like on your page or on your website and this and that like there are t there are total gatekeepers out there for that kind of stuff and to be honest I don't do anything other than how I'm in, how I'm talking and interacting now and everything like that and people will like find some sort of power to be able to approve or deny you and everything and there's a lot of people that are those moody kind of people that's what I'm talking about like if someone from a cable company or something needs to come and install Wi-Fi for you or if like there's a show promoter or this or that there's not so much more of the world of fulfilling an objective and trying to like do what you can despite any indifferences or whatever because i don't know what i did i'm just somebody you know doing what i do but there's definitely kind of like this feeling of gatekeepers and everything regarding somebody trying to get where they are because that's what makes a difference to me and i feel like you're offering something to the world when you can bring you know part of who you are and be happy doing it but then people will be like using their own vernacular basically saying well i could but i don't really feel like it so i'm like okay I'm gonna try to do my own thing then, but I'm my own person doing that. Like you're doing that, and then you're doing graphics for something, and then you're like traveling to go places, and then you're setting the sound up. You need a crew and everything. How can an outlier have a crew? That's what I'm wondering. I don't want to dishevel before your very eyes. Hopefully I'd have a bloom, a blooming. But I was gonna make the Apophis music group and everything like that for the outliers, for the people that don't get the real run of the situation of uh nepotism behind them and uh people that don't have basically like rich families and everything like that to be like oh you feel like being a you know a touring musician especially like acoustic world and everything like that so you want to play the coffee houses and whistle and do this or whatever it's like the whole the whole world where it's basically like oh you sing and play the harmonica you must be one of those bob dylan's and everything it's like yeah everybody that sings folk or songwriter music, and, and they're it's exactly what they are, is Bob Dylan. Nobody else. They're just Bob Dylan. I was like, okay. It's like, that's interesting. But anyway, this is coffee, pure coffee, strict coffee, raw coffee. I'm going to ing ingest some coffee. I'm trying to educate myself a little bit more on what more I can do with that camper and everything. That is so cool. It's so It's so roomy in there. So I say now until I start moving more things in there and everything and all that. But I'm content with that view that I had in the morning there of the camper. It was just gorgeous. No, no barking dogs, just the sounds of birds. My own energy, you know, waking up to your own energy. But that's that. That's my video thing. I'll do another one when I can.